Alright, so today we're taking a look at the official gaming benchmarks from AMD themselves on the Ryzen 7800X 3D and let me tell you out of the bat they look awesome. Now yeah, we're gonna make this short and sweet. This is an 8 core 16 threaded CPU, TDP'd at around 120 watt. The maximum boost clock is 5.0 GHz. So in terms of the spec sheet, it's not as fast as the 7700X. From the benchmarks, the gaming benchmarks as you'll see right now, this is the fastest gaming CPU up to date right now. So if you compare it to the 5800X 3D, which is the same 3DV cache as CPU, but hey, the 5800X 3D is the predecessor, you'd find performance difference ranging from 20 at least to 30%. And the fact that we are getting that generational or we are getting that really noticeable gaming performance out of these type of titles is really good because these are FPS driven games that are more reliable on the CPU rather than anything else. So yeah, it's really cool, but I'm pretty sure if we decided to to compare these results to the 3900k that amd are not showing it we are gonna look at around the similar performance in these particular titles so you can check out the simulated benchmarks that hardware unboxed have made you know testing a cpu uh the 7950x 3d but he decided to dis disable the ccd so he's pretty much uh, using a 16 cores 32 threaded cpu but he's disabling a uh, half the power horse of the cpu and he got more gaming performance out of it looking at the 7800X 3D compared to the Intel Core i9-3900K. We are looking at really uh, intense and really optimistic results, you know. We're looking at, when you compare it to the Rainbow Six Siege, we're looking at 13% and this is an FPS game. Now the game really catches my eye, which is Red Dead Redemption 2. And Red Dead Redemption 2, in case you don't know, this is the most GPU intensive game uh, that you can have up to date. It really relies on the GPU rather than anything else. So yeah, when you compare a lot of the high-end CPUs, you'll not find any difference in performance so the fact that we are getting these much of gains on 1080p uh with this cpu is really cool to see but at the other uh, side of the spectrum once you jump to 1440p or 4k you'll not find that noticeable difference but nevertheless this cpu is supposed to launch at somewhere around 400 to 450 dollars hopefully this cpu will go out of stock really fast and i don't think amd are prepared to cover the demand for this cpu so it 100 will be more expensive than that but nevertheless actually it's a uh, not that power hungry cpu and this is the fast this gaming CPU up to date and uh, this feels like it covers the spot of the best CPU for gaming that goes for a good price and I think that the 7800X 3D is that CPU you know this is the CPU that you can pair with anything and it's relatively relatively you know cheap compared to the higher end uh, dogs out there so yeah it looks like the best CPUs to get on the market right now is the i5-13600K uh, the 7800X 3D once it launched for gaming at least and uh, maybe any other CPU that goes for that territory like the Ryzen 7 7700 and when it comes to the budget CPUs things will stay the same I think so the Ryzen 5 5600 is still a good CPU the i5 13400 is a good upgrade so yeah that's been it if you like the video person that like button and uh, hopefully I made it short and sweet and I'll see you in the next one peace